Hey there! Welcome back! In this video, you will see how to measure bearing clearances in large two-stroke engines. As first, let measure crosshead bearing clearance. Turn piston of unit to bottom dead center, VDC. Now, piston is at BDC position. Point to be measured can be seen in this drawing. Insert feeler gauge between crosshead bearing and pin. Record measured result. Now, you are going to see how to measure clearance between crosshead and connecting rod. As first, turn crankshaft and place piston to top dead center, TDC. Piston reach to TDC. As before, you can see which place is required to measure. Insert feeler gauge between crosshead and connecting rod. In here, need to measure clearances at two places, fore and aft of the ship. Let's measure guide and guide shoes clearances. As first, turn unit to 45 degrees after TDC. Now unit reach to desired position of crank angle. Need to measure four places, two for fuel pump side and another two for exhaust side. Insert feeler gauge between guide shoe and guy. Measurement is taken at exhaust side. Let's measure fuel pump side. Likes before, insert feeler gauge between guide and guide shoe. You can see clearance at fuel pump side is zero, no clearance. Let's measure clearance between guide and guide shoe side plate. Insert feeler gauge between guide shoe side plate and guide. Clearances are varied according ship's draft. In full load condition, clearances are smaller than at the ship in unload. As last, let's measure main bearing clearance. I will show measurement by using both dial depth gauge and normal depth gauge. As first, loosen and remove bolts with locking plate to flange on main bearing cap. Remove away flange and you will see hole in bearing cap.
Insert depth gauge into hole and take measurement. Subscribe channel and turn notification bell for update contents. Remove depth gauge and record value. Let's see measurement with dial depth gauge. Insert dial depth gauge into hole of bearing cap and record measured value. Close cover flange on bearing cap. Fit and tighten it bolts of flange and secure by locking plates. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe channel for more informative contents. Goodbye for now.